My uh, thought of the week this week. I always I always look forward to this. And uh, this week I just kind of, I was reading something. Grant, I got the, the poster that framed in here, man. I talked about Grant Cardone and 10X. I've actually gone back. I listened to the book twice this past, past week. I'll do that. I'll go back a book that helped me a lot. And I'll go back and listen to it again and like at different points because but it, it's crazy how you will process a book at different points in your life. And it, it's one of those things, a great book I'll listen to seven, eight, nine, ten times and, and then you go back still and because uh, I get different things from it. And this time listening to this book, it's funny, I listen to it. Because too, you get busy when you listen to a book at different points. So sometimes certain things don't hit you the way that they should. So I, and I listen to it on a higher speed so I could, you know, I'm just trying to process information and I know I'm going to get from it what I need to get from it. And this time listening to 10X by Grant Cardone, the 10X rule, he really got into um, accountability and uh, not having a victim mindset. And I don't know why that really, really just hit me hard this time. And it kind of ties into a lot of different things going on. But where, where Grant was, he was saying, were you, even if it isn't your fault, by simply acknowledging that you're like, by trying to find excuses or a reason for the situation, no matter how right even you are, you are giving fuel to that victim mentality which therefore does not benefit you. And it really, really made me look at myself and think about things and the things, the steps that I have taken not to have that at times. And obviously with my history with WWE and it being fake and being entertainment, there's also though at the same time and a lot of different situations that have gone on there where I took things into my own hands. And, and then I explained for my fan base why I've taken the steps that I have so that my fan base understood my line of thinking on everything. And I've taken control at various different points over things that I was not happy about. But even, and that's why I've always said I'm, I'm grateful for the way everything worked out because it made me exactly who I am and where I'm going with all of that. But at the same time too, it's to give you guys examples, uh, I'm always looking at ways I never want to have that victim mentality, no matter what is told to me. Uh, and I, it's something that I strive because we all it, it to go to and we, we look for excuses. And at the end of the day, even in like excuses, it's just a bunch of bullshit. At the end of the day, and he even used an example, you know, if you're you're late to work and you go all the way, there's traffic, it's still your fault. You're the one fucking driving. You're the one that left the house. You didn't leave enough time. Now, granted, are there like extreme rare cases? Say you could have left an hour for work and it takes you five minutes to get there and whatever happened, your engine blew up and you couldn't get to work. Yes, but at the end of the day, though, it's still an excuse. It, it, it's a real excuse. It, 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 I mean, it, it's a great excuse. But at the end of the day, it's still an excuse. If you're late to work, you're fucking late to work, right? So, and it just made me really look at the accountability thing. I go, at the end of the day, no matter what the reasoning, it, it's the result that matters and what happened. If you're late, you're fucking late. You were the one that was late. There's nobody else. And it's, if you want to make excuses, it's giving fuel to a victim mentality. And the goal is, and I look at it, the goal is not to have a victim mentality because no good comes from having a victim mentality. In fact, it, it's been, it will bring more and more and more negative. It will pour negativity down into your life. So how do we, we look at this in a very simplistic manner. We don't, want to have a victim mentality. How do we not have a victim mentality? We don't make excuses and we don't make excuses. We just ultimately accept all accountability. Does that make sense? And that really simplifies everything. And, and by doing that, it will allow us to take action and, and make the necessary changes. Uh, hopefully, uh, because we are giving fuel to a positive of my fault. I got to fix it. Whatever the reason, not my fault, my fault. Look at it this way. Everything, uh, WWE, the, 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 the losses on every big, uh, chance to, to move up, to be, to be more my fault. I did it. 
I agreed to it. My fault. I had my reasons for agreeing to it, to save up, to make as much money as I could, to get the fuck out of there. But my fault, right? Even though it's fake, scripted, doesn't matter. I'm the one that did it. My fault. Just accept it and move on, which I've done. But don't, it's not, it's just a getting out of that victim mentality, whatever way possible. My ankle got broke. I broke my ankle in a match. Three places I popped up, I kept wrestling. You guys have heard the story. Probably more than you care to hear it. Doctor messed up the surgery. Caused a bunch of nerve damage that I did not have going into that. My big toe still doesn't work. WWE didn't. I could sit there and say it's their fault. They sent me to a bad doctor, right? They they made me drop a multi-million dollar lawsuit. They didn't, they didn't care to help me try to figure out a way to get my nerves firing in my leg. All true stuff, guys. But if I keep just saying that and I don't do anything about it, at the end of the day, I'm the one with the fucked up ankle, right? So, and I have a girl come out every week, Carlin Crouch with the newbie device, and I pay for it. They don't pay for it, and I don't, I don't sit there and harp on it as far as, well, I, what, they're not going to pay for it. What do I, well, I got to work harder so I make more money so I could pay the money I need to pay to try to get my health back. My fault. I got to fix it. That's just the way that I look at it, and that's, that, that's not having a victim mentality on it. That's taking action, you know. Five disc fusion I need when I leave. Shoulder replacement I need. They gave me a bunch of drugs. They just wanted to use my body to make as much money and throw me out or let me leave. And that's it. They're, they're done, right? Could have been a really easy. I could have been a victim and just fucking, like I said, started drinking heavily and, and eating a bunch of junk and live off the money that I have. Not take any proactive effort in trying to build financial wealth and success for the future. Man, my dream job ate me up and fucking spit me out and I walked away and I'm all fucking hurt and my life is never going to be the same again. I'll never lift heavy weights again. I'll never be able to fucking be a larger than life uh, persona ever again. I'm just, I'm a victim. I fucking, life just fucking is beat me down and, uh, you know, I don't, I don't even know if I want to go on. Doctors just want to give me pain pills and, you know, they want to help me comfort me in my pain of being a victim. And, you know, they fucking used me. It's I'm fucking poor me. Do you guys feel sorry for me? Or is it fuck that shit? You know what? End of the day, I fucking did it. I got I'm here. I'm. It's me. Nobody else is dealing with this situation. I'm the only one dealing with it. I could try to get people to understand my motherfucking situation. Or I could just say, I'm going to fucking go fix my situation. Even if it, they, it's, people don't think it's fixable. I do think it's fixable. And, I, and, and, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking start researching. I'm going to find ways. I'm not going to get a back fusion. I'm not going to get a shoulder replacement at 34, 35. I'm going to figure out a way to fucking beat this. It may not beat it right away. Fuck, it might take three years to beat. It might take four years. But I'm going to fucking figure it out. And I think you guys have seen the progression of that mindset. And here I sit and no back pain in my shoulder, almost all better. I'm actually going to get another stem cell procedure when I'm not going to take any time off of this. So I'm just going to be doing it here in Vegas once again, here in the next couple months to give me a little extra fuel, uh, in my rehab training as I continue to rebuild myself, but stem cell procedure fucking, I think that's going to be 15 or 16 and, uh, but I'm not a victim. It's my fault. It's my, I'm the one, it's my body, right? I did it. Other, and you know, we can make up all the excuses in the world. How, you know, well, all that cortisone did eat away all my cartilage, but at the end of the day, it's my fucking shoulder, my cartilage. I can't, nobody else is going to fix it for me. I have to fix it. And you do that through your mindset and, you know, not having a victim mentality. And, and the point of all this bullshit guys is, is that if you want to have a victim mentality, you're going to continue to get victim type results. No matter how right or wrong, whether you're right or wrong doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if I'm right with everything with WWE. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, the, the, the result is the result. The situation is the situation. You either can improve upon that situation or you can continue to give negative fuel um, to that situation and, and, and make that fire stronger in whatever direction that you want. And I think it's just very simplistic. Don't have a victim mentality. How do we do that? Don't make excuses. How do we not make excuses? 
complete accountability. And that's my thought of the week. Thank you guys very much for watching Ryback TV. If you could smash that subscribe, hit that like button, share this channel, and for Feed Me More Nutrition on feedmemore.com, save 10% with Podcast 10, click here for my podcast conversation with the big guy Ryback, available on all podcast platforms. Click here. And for more videos of yours truly on Ryback TV, click here. Feed me more.